What's going on guys? Welcome to this video and continuing with this series of video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom footer in WordPress with Elementor Pro. And as you can see, this is the footer we're going to create today. It's a pretty simple and clean footer that you can add to your WordPress website. And of course, it's 100% mobile responsive. Now, let's dive into today's training. So when you're here in the WordPress dashboard, you want to go to templates and to the team builder. And we're here. Now we're going to use the new team builder that Elementor has. I'm going to click on try now. I'm going to click on footer and add new. And Elementor has a bunch of templates that you can use, but I always like to create my own. So let's do this. And let's start. As you can see in the model that we have here, this is three columns for this section, for this one, and for this. So we want to choose three columns. Okay. Now we want to select the columns. We're going to choose the middle option. Middle. Okay. Now we're going to choose here, we're going to move to 25 and 25 here there we go now we have a text editor here I'm gonna duplicate this first we're gonna add an image box I'm gonna grab one of these here and the other one here so now we're gonna select this section and we're going to choose full width okay and right now what we have to do is select the section and we're basically going to copy the same text that we have here i'm going to select this paste this and the reason i like to use the text editor is because i can add links to the different uh, letters sentences for instance this number I can add a link here and if the person that want to click on this uh, number they want to automatically call they I just have to put the code tell dot and the number okay and automatically they will be able to click on that number and they're gonna be able to call okay so now we're gonna choose the image let's put our logo here and let's make this one a little bit smaller Okay, like with 35 is okay. And here we're just gonna add what we have here. We're gonna center this. And here we're gonna put the address. There we go. Let's see how it looks. It's looking good. We're gonna just fix this one. We're gonna align this one to the middle. And the same with this one. Yeah, much better. Now we're gonna change the background. Select the section, go to style, choose the color that you want to use. And there we go. Okay, let's see this. Yeah, let's just change the color, style, right, same here, right, as you can see, the privacy color doesn't change because it's a link, so you can have a privacy policy page and you can just simply link this, this uh, sentence with the link that you want to send people to but i just want to put this in white and i just want to change the color from here white and there we go this one and there we have our footer now we want to publish this at condition 
uh, we, we want to show up this footer to the entire site so we're going to click on save and close view live site let's see how it looks and you can see it looks better but we wanna i want to see this better so when i go to the dashboard let's see how it looks scroll down and there we have it okay a pretty simple clean design now we can always fix uh, the margins click the section go to advance and on padding you can put like 20 up and 20 to the bottom update refresh and there we have it okay simple as that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the template that i'm gonna share with you so we're gonna erase this no worries we're gonna click on the folder we're gonna go to my templates we're gonna upload the template that i'm gonna share with you that is actually this one the footer choose for lock and we have it here insert and there we have it guys this is the template that you're gonna have okay we're just gonna fix this to the color white and the same here okay. so there we have it you want to be able to put your logo your address and do exactly what i should just show you and this template is already mobile responsive as you can see when i go to tablet and it changed okay now take in mind that I had to create a different uh, sections, a different uh, text editors when it comes to using uh, mobile. Why? Because I need this template to be responsive. And how I do that? Well, simply in desktop, you want to notice that I have this section. That this section is only going to show up when it's a mobile or a tablet. So as you can see, I select this section. We're gonna go to advanced. We're gonna go with responsive, and it's gonna be high on desktop, but not on tablet or mobile. As you can see. So don't worry about any of this. If you want to edit this, just change the device to tablet or mobile, and you can you wanna be able to edit this. Okay, change this. Put the color white. And there you have it. And this one, as you can see, the text editor widget, we're gonna go to advanced, we're gonna go to responsive, and it's gonna be hide on tablet and mobile, but not on desktop because this is the one we're using on desktop. So if I hide this, you're gonna see how it looks. So this is the different tricks that you use when you want to create a specific design for mobile, tablet, desktops. So you can always hide sections, columns, elements, whatever you want. And basically that's it guys. Now we're gonna click update. We wanna see the website, refresh. And there we have it. As simple as that, you create a custom footer in WordPress using Elementor Pro. Now, if you want this template, what you basically have to do, if you don't know, if you haven't watched my other videos, just use my link, bgodinesolutions.com slash Elementor is gonna be the link below, or you can just type it on the browser and just purchase Elementor and you're gonna be able to get the website templates that includes basically all the templates, the header, the footer, the main pages, every service business website need to get started. And the training to show you how to create a profitable website and a private Facebook group so you can basically go and ask for help if you need to create something specific. I'm gonna, always going to be there trying to help you even more. I hope you find this video valuable, guys. And if you want more help, you don't want to deal with anything regarding creating a website, you can always go to jordanvelasquez.com slash call and schedule a call with my team and I. Let's see if we're a good fit to work together and we'll be happy to help you with your business. That's it for this one. See you in the next one.